Hi, um, this is the sixth video. Um, I'm going over notes about parenting and, and um, families. We're at the section um, talking about confidence and self-esteem. This is especially important when uh, undergoing transitions or times of change. Um, also dealing with criticism or mistakes. It is important to have manners to um, also to share your feelings um, by increased closeness, intimacy, honesty. Um, you show that you value relationships um, and it makes it easier to go through new experiences to accept yourself and others and um, emphasize success and overcoming challenges. And also to learn from feedback and change in positive ways. Um, learn new skills, talents, attributes, improve yourself, and give self and others credit. So um, how you see yourself versus how you wish to be. Um, your self-image is a reflection of how you feel. If um, you re you should realize the special qualities and abilities that you have, you should have good values, morals, the confidence, and the self-esteem um, that you desire. You should appreciate yourself and others. Create a better you by being in shape, healthy, exercise, eat well. Um, Follow nutrition, take care of yourself, as well as setting healthy boundaries within your life. Calmness and peacefulness. Um, so in families, caring, understanding, and communication is important. And in order to find functionality within the group or family, um, positive treatment is important. Focusing on um, and realizing the reasons for your lifestyle, habits, and the way things are. It is important to be unique. Everyone has special combination um, of attributes that makes them special. Understanding one's self-worth and of those around is important. Being responsive to your own needs as well as those of others. Um, so making the best out of abilities that you have. Focusing on the positive and eliminating self-inferiority. Sometimes helping others is the best way to come to terms with yourself. To feel useful or productive. Making and reaching possible desired goals. Heightening your self-esteem, having a feeling of accomplishments is important. <laughs> having rewards for being good, whether for yourself or for others, and showing appreciation. Practice giving. Try to have a balance between loneliness and being social. Try to focus in on positive sides of each. Too much of one thing will make you feel out of harmony. Um, follow continuous path of personal change. Avoid criticizing and judging excessively harshly, which leads to wounded relationships, eventually worsen self-esteem. It's important to have respect, kindness, honesty, to be happy um, with others instead of being negative or nitpicky which irritates people and blocks honest interactions and communication. Focus on positives, veer away from negatives. Excessive repetition of negative harms relationships. So negative speech and behaviors um, should be avoided. Negative um, should be turned into positive.
interaction and feedback. It is not good to be overly aggressive, to be, um, but to be sensitive and sincere. Instead of over-exaggerating matters or blowing trivialities way out of proportion in order to make yourself look superior, this um, practice more patience. Being hasty is dishonest and wrong um, when you're interacting or communicating. When you go too far, um, you may hurt others' feelings, make matters even worse than they were to begin with. This can lead to broken family ties or friendships and damaging bonds. Hurting others is not a funny or trivial matter. It should um, not bring one happiness when others fail or are in a bad situation. It is Im important to be open, understanding, not let matters get misunderstood or thrown off of course by being irresponsible, hasty, careless, or selfish. Double check everything that you do as well as your judgment of others. Misjudging is a quick way to lose positive relationships with others. This will eventually hurt your own self-confidence and morale. If there are issues, try not to be lazy. Instead, put effort into shedding light upon them in order to solve misunderstandings or matters. Bring about peace. Do not be motivated to hurt others, make them feel worse. Treatment of others reflects how you treat yourself. It, um, your treatment reflects your own sense of self-worth um, and your sense of self. If you hurt others' feelings by, a mis by mistake, Always apologize and learn from your mistakes. Sometimes it is better to reveal your true feelings if you have hurt someone, not to hide how you really feel. Quit looking for faults. Stop expecting everyone else to be the way you are. Everyone is different. Accept and tolerate that. This can lead to, um, so misjudging can lead to harassing others if boundaries are crossed. Avoid listening to negative gossips and descriptions of others and buying into everything you hear. Know your source and be skeptical of it. Even if you have multiple sources, it could just be a coincidence. Sometimes similar types of people think and judge in similar ways, which may or may not be accurate or true from a different angle. Know what is trying to get accomplished, what the goals and motivations of the people making accusations or judgments are. Maybe they are self-centered or even selfish um, in their motivations or reasons for the things that they say or describe. There are always hidden explanations behind what people may say or do. They, these may not necessarily reflect the truth that is sought. Try to instead raise other people's morale instead of all constantly putting them down. Instead of blaming others all the time for all your problems, find out real reasons for issues. Try to offer help in trying to solve them. Give credit and appreciation when things change and improve. Be open to change and new experiences. Um, don't be in a rut all the time. Notice when things change and how they are changing. Realize the positives and the, how they affect you in a constructive way. If there are challenges along the way, try to overcome them the best you can and avoid excuses in working towards progress in yourself, your family, your life, work, school, and activities. Whatever is going on in your life or you are involved in that motivates you to be the best person you can be should be um, the goal to be reached. Thank you all. Continue in the next part.